Rawlings, worn by more pros than any other brand and the top choice of the finest in the field. Visit Rawlings.com to design your custom glove today. That's Rawlings.com. Since it began in Lower Manhattan in 1889, Models has developed a reputation for offering a wide selection of products, as well as for delivering what athletes want. You can depend on the Models selection to boost your performance and help you look your best in training, in competition, or just around town. Models carries a range of equipment and apparel for just about every sport, but no matter what you play, from football to lacrosse to a cheering fan, Models Sporting Goods is the place to go. When you have a shop for sports, you got to go to Models. Tweet us on Twitter. Like us on Facebook. We're everywhere. AM 970. Theanswer.com. All right, back. ELO, right? Yeah, Bill Bennett. Bill Bennett. So that's a... How much do you like Bill Bennett? No? All right, so we got uh, NFL picks here on the Soriano podcast. And, uh, well, folks, I, I, I just think that... Uh, can you see the man here? Can they see you with this thing in the way? I don't care if they see me or not. Well, they can hear me. Oh, no, they can't hear you. Oh, yeah, oh, oh no, you got to go over here. No, no, I'm not, no, I ain't getting close. I ain't touching you. There you go. Can you get close, my boy? There we go. They can hear me. The way I talk, fucking all of New York can hear me. Okay, okay, relax. Now listen, we're going to calm down with the language. The family program, we're in a family setting. You know, we're helping people change the world. So you have to calm down here. Our first game, our first game, Jets and Bills. The Jets uh, coming at 10-5, and five, going to Buffalo, folks. As uh, they travel to seven and eight Orchard Park, and uh, Rex Ryan is the coach of the Buffalo Bills. And he will be next year. And he will be next year. Uh, Ryan, how do you see this game uh, going up? Who's gonna win this one? The Jets or the Bills? Can the Jets make the playoffs? No. no. Well, hold on, hold on. So now with that statement, yes, that you're, you're either nice. you're either gonna say the Jets are gonna win, and the Steelers are gonna lose, or the Jets just aren't. No, I'm saying the Bills are going to win. So you're saying right now okay. the Buffalo Bills are going to win? Yes. We got Ryan going for the Bills. On record. On record? On record for all of, what, 10 viewers to see. <laughs> you, can see well, you can see how many views this one, this one gets. Yeah. And then also, I'm going to have uh, Give Me the Jets. Uh, I think they can. Home, I think I, I, listen, I'm not a homer. I think sure. they can pull it off. There's, there's no LaShawn you're McCoy. Tell, you're, tell, you're telling me Rex Ryan's not going to get all the Buffalo up on their feet for that. How game? many times did Rex get the Jets up for games and they lost? The Jets are bad. What do you have to work with? Well, so far he hasn't done a good job with a team that was nine and seven last year, and they're seven and eight, and they're not making the playoffs. It's going to go all after this one, especially since he coached the Jets. Well, I think they'll win the Jets by a score of, I'm going to say 24 to 20. It's going to be a close game, but there is no McCoy, and I think that they can uh, overcome that. I think the Jets are a little bit more healthier, although Powell's not uh, practicing this week, so that could be an issue for the Jets. He's been their second uh, second best player. The Giants and the Eagles, Odell Beckham Jr. returns from the suspension. It could be Tom Coughlin's last game. As the coach of the Giants, they're at home versus Philadelphia, and the Eagles have already fired Chip Kelly. Chip Kelly is gone. He's been fired. They have uh, named offensive coordinator Pat Shermer, who coached for two years with the Browns as their interim head coach, so they didn't even wait for the end of the season. They fired Chip Kelly. Uh, rumors are that ownership kind of went to Chip and said, listen, we'll take your GM status away, but you could be the coach. Chip Kelly said no, and well, Chip Kelly got fired, didn't wait until uh, after on Black Monday. He's gone. Eagles seem to be in disarray. It could be Giants. Uh, it could be the Giants' last game with Coughlin at the helm. Giants and Eagles, who do you have in this one? Giants. Giants. I'm going to go with the Giants, too. I think Beckham's going to come back. I think Beckham's going to have a big day. All you fantasy people, uh, well, you're done because it, it's over. It's over. And 
I know a lot of you lost your fantasy football championships because Beckham got suspended last week. But I think Beckham will have a monster game. Uh, they're at home. They will have nothing more than to punish the Eagles against the divisional game. And the Eagles roughed them up in Lincoln uh, Financial uh, early on in the season. So give me the Giants over the Philadelphia Eagles. We go to the Detroit. Oh, great, a great matchup. Chicago and Detroit, the Bears and the Lions, two teams that are not making the playoffs. Um... Um, I'm going to go with the Lions. The Bears had a shot. Really, they did after beating the Packers on Thanksgiving. And I thought, really, that the Bears had a shot at making the playoffs. And they just choked up like dogs. Jay Cutler turned into Jay Cutler. And I think the Lions have kind of answered, even though they lost that heartbreaker to Green Bay. They played better since going 1-7. and seven. I think uh, Detroit will win this one at home. And I'm pretty sure you got yeah, the Lions. Yeah. Done. So, Ryan, so far, Ryan's got the Bills. I got the Jets. We both have the Giants. And Ryan has the Lions. I have the Lions. We both are in agreement on that one. Patriots have the Dolphins. We're just going to the next one. We're going to go on to the next one. We both have the England on that one. So uh, be ready for that. Um, Cincinnati. They'll be pissed off Andre after what happened last week. Oh, they'll be pissed off. Cincinnati and the Ravens. Bengals travel to Baltimore to take on the Ravens. Ravens played spoiler against the Steelers last week when no one thought they could. Uh, so, and that kind of maybe you've, maybe you've put a dagger in the Steelers' playoff hopes if the Jets do win, which I think they will. Who do you think will uh, be coming out in Baltimore, Cincinnati, or will Baltimore try and salvage a bad season and go out a winning note? I say Baltimore. Ryan's going to go with I the Ravens. Baltimore. Ryan play goes. Spoiler against the Steelers. Yeah, they can play spoiler against the Bengals, who are also playing for home field advantage and seeding. Give me the Bengals. I will say the Bengals will win. I, get, I think they have a little bit too much to play for. But the Ravens are prideful, and they uh, hit the Steelers last week. So uh, the Bengals, Ryan goes with the Ravens. The Falcons and the Saints. The Falcons are coming off beating the under, previously undefeated Carolina Panthers. They started 5-0, folks. They came in last week at 7-7, and, uh, seven and seven, so they've gone 2-7 since the 5-0 start. Complete disarray. They do have a shot, while it's small, they do have a shot to make the playoffs um, if, if Seattle does lose and they win, then Atlanta will, will go into the playoffs. So uh, I think Atlanta has a good shot here, and they're playing the Saints. We don't know what Saints team we're going to get. One, one week we get a good one, one week they get a bad one. They're in the Mercedes Superdome. Um, although I think the Falcons will build, I think the Falcons should build on this, and they have a shot of really starting 5-0, and being a mess, and salvaging it by getting to the playoffs, or at least uh, winning to at least improve their chances. I'm going to go with the Falcons in New Orleans. Can't count out Drew Brees. Can't count out Drew Brees. Especially in the Rams. So Brees oh, over. Oh, oh, yes. oh, yes. Ryan's going with the Saints. Saints over the Falcons. Ryan's going with the Saints. I'm going with the Falcons. More 1 o'clock games. A plethora of 1 o'clock games. Uh, Texans and Jaguars. The Texans, if they win this one, uh, they will win the AFC South and go to the playoffs. Against the Jaguars. Yes, Jaguars. They're in Jacksonville. I think they'll do it. Brian Hoyer is going to come back, maybe. Uh, they said he's cleared to play. I'm going to go with Houston in this one over the Jaguars. Jaguars have had a pretty good season. They've been competitive. And you're going to go with Houston I as well. Saw. So we're both going to go with Houston on that one. The Steelers and the Browns. And the Steelers will be playing the same time as the Jets. They'll be hoping that uh, Buffalo and the Rex Ryan will put a hurt on the Jets so they can go out there and cream Cleveland, which we all think that they will. Uh, Cleveland may be the worst franchise in sport. They're just so bad. Manziel ruled out for this game, so I don't know who they're going to start a quarterback. Give me the Steelers over mess. the Browns, and Ryan's going to go with the Steelers as well. Colts and the Titans. Now, interesting news today, folks. The Colts have already announced that they will not bring back Chuck Pagano as their head coach. They are going their separate ways. I think Pagano will, will get a job um, with the NFL. I think, honestly, I think Chip Kelly will end up with Tennessee next year. With Marcus Mariota at the quarterback, and they'll try and reunite Oregon. And I think Chuck Pagano will find a place somewhere, maybe Miami. Uh, I don't know, but Pagano will will have an offer to be a head coach. I'm gonna go with the. No, I, I want to say the Colts. Maybe they'll they'll win one for Chuck. Um, I'm gonna go. Oh my God, I'm gonna go with the Colts winning this one. Uh, it's really a, a negative point. Uh, 0.1 percent chance they make the playoffs if they win because Houston has to has to lose, the Jets have to lose, everyone has to lose really, 
and they have to win. But I'm going to go with the Colts winning. And Ryan's going to go with the Colts as well in Chuck Pagano's final game. Final 1 o'clock game, the Cowboys and the Redskins. Redskins have already clinched up uh, the NFC East. They're 8-7. and seven. They can go for 9-7, nine and seven, 9 wins for the Redskins. That's important to them as the uh, Cowboys come into this game at 4-11. and 11. No Dez Bryant. He's put on the shelf. His foot hurts. He's uh, on season-ending IR. I think Dez is a baby. He's one of the most overrated wide receivers in the league. Romo's not. I mean, they've been a joke since Romo went down. Yeah, he's a baby. So I'm going to go with the Redskins over the Cowboys. Yeah, Redskins. Ryan's going with the Redskins. We're going to wrap up a lot. The Vienna predict. Oh, I'm not good. I'm not good with scores. But they'll they'll beat them by. They'll beat, they'll beat them by two touchdowns. At least two touchdowns. At least, at least two. Touchdowns. Ryan's going. The Redskins by at least two touchdowns. So if you want to get in the gambling business, Ryan's told you what to do. We'll be back with the 4:25 games and uh, the 8:30 game on NBC. Packers and Vikings. Oh. After this, Serena Network.